felt very comfortable with everything since the beginning. Since I met Emiliano at the airport, uh, I felt that there was a special kind of uh, good feelings, you know, relaxed feelings and uh, comfortable feelings. Uh, and when you feel this, in the, even in the beginning, that there is a kind of understanding between you and the promoter, it's already a good thing, you know. Uh, dinner was already great. We drank uh, amazing red wine. Uh, and then, yeah, we head up directly from the restaurant, we went to the club, where I started uh, at midnight, more or less. The club was, uh, let's say, 70% empty, but I don't mind when I don't see people, uh, I, when I see that people still has to, has to come, I don't mind. I'm, I like to play for uh, myself sometimes, for the promoter, for the few people that was there. I saw that people uh, started coming in starting uh, um, react good since the first time and so I, I understood that would have been a great night and then of course when it was 1.30 the club was packed and I, I start going up up with the beat and the reaction every track there was a reaction so and there was kind of a, of, of a, of a feeling that uh, I love when this happened from between me and the promoter, the crowd, and for five hours was everything unique that was growing and modifying uh, this feeling between all of us and uh, in the end was the, one of the best nights of the tour, I have to say. Maybe it's the first time in my career that happened the, the layer, layer, uh, layer, layer thing. I, I have to say, it was, I didn't expect, but it was so, even this spontaneously and nice and warm, you know, that I really enjoyed. But, you know, I, as I said also, uh, already for an Italian to be in Argentina is special but I'm Napolitan so it's even more let me tell you I studied at the university uh, uh, I graduated 10 years ago in marketing and public relations after this I was uh, starting um, uh, working in a, in a public relations agency as a um, marketing uh, junior manager something like that you know but uh, there was something that I liked but uh, most of the time I was uh, not satisfied at all about my life and about my, my, my career I was very young I was 26 at that time so I, I said okay let's try to give one chance to the music to be part of my life so, uh, since the first club experience that I had when I was young uh, I always was uh, looking at the DJ and uh, in a different way I, I was looking a rock star for example when I was going to, to big concerts something like that. I was uh, looking at them uh, amazing I could have never been uh, something like this you know I, big respect big... the same respect I had uh, also when I was looking uh, going to the club and see playing Dave Morales or Tony Amphries or uh, other big uh, DJs of, uh, of the 90s. Of the... But then I was also thinking I could do something like this, you know. I, I, could, I think I know what kind of tracks I have to play now, you know. Yeah. There was something also, always something that was inside of me, this. And then uh, I, it was automatically, I don't know why, that for me music career was linked to electronic music career yeah. and DJ thing because I was loving so much the DJ thing uh, when I was looking just in Timberlake or or, uh, or Jamiro Quay uh, singing and having the concert I was yeah. not dreaming to be that thing I was dreaming to be a DJ so I cannot tell you it was something inside you know when you play one hour and 30 minutes what kind of DJ set you can do play only the hits you have, the, the strongest tracks you have, and that's it. You smash the place and people, but nothing comes back from, to, to me, you know. I want to give everything to the music and to the people, but I want to receive back, because otherwise, in the end, why, what you receive back? You receive just the money from the promoter, but this is not, uh, when I started, this, I was starting for zero euros, so I, I, I need to have emotions. Emotions back I have 
from uh, the fact that you see that people understand and you understand them, you know, and then you have the time to create a special link that you see even in the days uh, after of the gigs, you still think about that, you know. And this is something that I realized for me uh, it can happen only if I play uh, a long set, you know. And for me, I need more, personally, more than three hours, mm. at least. Yeah. And also people can really understand your message, can understand what kind of music are you playing, you know. And also you educate people in a different way, you know. You educate club culture in a different way. You educate people to go, to live an experience, you know. Because going clubbing is an experience. Ah, the best thing. Music gave me great things every day. Uh, I cannot... Uh, say the, what is the best makes me happy you know and made me makes me happy every day makes me feel alive so this is my the main reason i live to be grateful to this to music what what music gives to me i can only give everything to to her so i will play all night long i will be like a slave you know in a good way yeah, yeah. you know what i mean so music makes me feel alive and makes me feel happy and makes me feel uh, a good man that that can learn every day from from his job and yeah i think this is more than enough